it's a little bit overcast kind of a cool morning just giving you an idea of the neighborhood the parking and the property a little dead-end road right here got some green belts and woods over here and we're at the corner of Bremen and Grundy not too far from the Naval Air Station you can hear the planes in the background That's the house. Parking's not a problem. One car garage. The woods next door. And we'll go on inside in a minute. That's your front yard. That's your entryway, storm door. Looks like we have the wood, uh, wood floor, plank style flooring. We'll go in the kitchen first. We've got some light bulbs that need to be replaced. But uh, give you an idea here, we have like a uh, bar situation. You could easily put some stools, maybe two or three stools here. Uh, we do have the It's an open floor plan Side-by-side -side stainless fridge with water in the door, flat top stove, micro built in, nice cabinetry, a deep 60-40 style sink, I believe that is, stainless sink, and a dishwasher. And we'll get a couple different views for you. Uh, this would be the washer dryer area right here. Oh, that's convenient. And there is a little pantry area right here. Have a one car garage right here with an electric closer. Attic storage, an electric water heater. I'll give you one more view of this. All right, we'll walk back in the kitchen. And that's another view. All right, so once again, this is your main living area right here. Vaulted style ceiling, ceiling fan, uh, our garden ledges, they call that. Put some plants up there. A tiled dining area here, one single window. I'll give you one more view from here. And do a turnaround here. Those doors lead out to a little patio in the back, back, uh, back porch area. All right, we'll get one more view of the main living space and the entry door. All right, this would be your master uh, carpeted flooring. Ceiling fan, 
single window. It would accommodate a queen or possibly a king would be comfortable in this space. You want to check our dimensions on the website. A ceiling fan. And here's your master bath. Dual vanities. Mirror. Lighting. Plenty of cabinetry there. Tile floor. A full tub and shower combination. Walk-in closet. Fairly good size for this size of a home. I'll let it focus for a second. There you go. Shelving. Carpet. And then your commode area is in here. Off to the right. There's another shot of your And then your tub is over there. All right. All right. We're back in the main living area. This is bedroom number two, we'll call it. Carpet flooring, ceiling fan, single window, closet. I would say a full or queen would be the largest you'd want to put in here. And once again, check our dimensions on the website. Okay, bedroom number three, carpet, ceiling fan, single window, and a closet. Looks like somebody was in the Marines. So I would say a queen or full in this size. And then here you have the hallway bath, which is a, a single lavatory mirror lights and a full tub and shower combination and it is tile floor and we'll turn around and just get one last view of the kitchen area all right back door uh, going out to a little uh, covered porch wooden porch Looks like a fully fenced yard. There is a hot tub there. I don't know how functional it is. We want to check with the property manager. There is some shade. And once again, it is fully fenced. Air conditioner back there. And once again, fenced yard. I'll give you another view from the back corner. And that's the back of your house right there.